What is going on everybody? Psych Perspectives, GeoFux here. Leaving the office, decided to work at the main office today. And it was beautiful. It was crazy because 5G with Verizon cellular service was completely down basically for eight hours, which for me on a personal level, I was not really that impacted. I actually was glad because I didn't have to keep getting constant phone calls and text messages because it was an SOS for eight hours, basically. Um, then I was at the main office, you know what I'm saying? So I had meetings after meetings after meetings, and it still made time to reach out to clients and do data. Um, and then got some good opportunities um, for things that I actually want to do more of so I'm looking forward to that but the point of this is to say I am just like everybody else a lot of us are working two to three jobs full times part time side hustles contract work um, under the table work working on business plans and business ventures with other people some of us are practicing group economics we're doing everything that we can and then some so we can take care of our families, our you know, our children, our loved ones, our dependents, handle our own bills and responsibilities because we want to do more than survive. We want to thrive and prosper. Even though nowadays it seems like it's this is becoming harder and harder to do as time goes on because Despite inflation being down significantly, price gouging is still a problem. Because there are, there's, let's just be real, there's no regulations in the USA around price gouging. Case in point, if you remember 2020, 2021, 2022, um, and people were literally fighting over the PlayStation 5 and trying to get it. Well, there's no regulation, so you're allowing one person to buy up five, ten different PS5s, which is keeping it from other people. Then you're also allowing that same person who just bought up ten PS5s to resell the PS5s at marked up prices, aka price gouging. So you would see a PS5 that's really $500 being sold for 1000 and people would buy it because they were out of stock because that one person decided to buy 10 of them or more just so they could resell and price gouge everybody. Again, the USA needs to stop allowing corporations, I'm just gonna go in and call a thing a thing. Stop allowing the rich, the wealthy, and corporations to run the show. Because that's the problem. You know, these are the same corporations, the same employers, the same businesses, the same organizations that refuse, refuse to pay living wages, yet will turn around and complain that consumerism is down. Well, of course it's going to be down. People can't afford to fucking feed their families. They're not gonna be concerned about buying your new PlayStation or your new titty shoes. And then you have people working there are people who are working at various manufacturers, plants, building the cars that we're driving, and they can't afford to buy the car that they're building. Quite frankly, most of us cannot afford to buy the cars that we're driving, including myself. And the reason I say that is, what are we really doing here in the USA? We don't own anything. A lot of us are just pay as you go, rent a centering life. Literally, everything is a, a firm, an afterpay, Klarna, or you're taking out debt via credit, via loans to pay for things because they refuse to pay us living wages. Jobs could just pay people enough to live and to buy things that they need, but they refuse to do so. And yet, you're hearing about all of these layoffs. All of these tech companies, um, all of these tech companies that are laying people off left and right 
And these are people who were making good money, right? These are people that were making close to six figures or well over six figures a year. And now they're laid off. Now that is frightening because when you are used to a certain lifestyle, you've been earning that type of money for quite some time and to lose it just like that, that right there is going to be a life changer culture shock because you're now broke. Because let's be honest, people start making a certain amount of money and they start living at that certain of amount of money level. Very rarely is somebody making more money and then still being in the same mindset with their spending. That's why they say more money, more problems. Because typically speaking, the more money you make, you start living a totally different lifestyle because you can now afford it. In theory, in reality, even if you get a pay raise, even if you start making more money, it's probably gonna be in your best interest to continue to live the way you're living currently, even with more money. That way you're not accumulating more debt, more bills, more responsibilities. Because then you're not gonna be making more money. You're just gonna have a you're gonna have the illusion of having a better quality of life, meanwhile, you're just accumulating debt and bills. So if you can still live low beneath your means, moderate to low beneath your means, even if you're making a way more money, that is going to be the best thing for you living in a capitalist society, a capitalist economic structure. I'm here to tell you because at any given moment, the market can decide for itself that, hey, we're gonna increase interest rates, we're going to price gouge, inflation is going to be super high, we're not going to pay you more, though. I mean, uh, I've said this before. Most of us should be making about double what we're making. And the fact that they try to convince us that it's okay to still pay us like it's 2004, even though it was 2024, is ridiculous. And again, corporations have lobbied the legislators, the elected officials, to the point that the elected officials are essentially glorified lobbyists for the corporations, <laughs> for the rich and the wealthy. Because when I say they ain't thinking about us, they ain't thinking about us. You know, if you remember Michael Jackson, they don't care about us. They don't. Okay, because at the end of the day, we are what? Cogs in the machine. Yes, I am definitely one of those people that uh, you will see as a socialist, Democrat, left-leaning, liberal. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. I just think that if I'm working a full-time job, I shouldn't have to struggle to make ends meet. If I'm paying taxes, uh, I should benefit from the tax dollars. Wow. Excuse me for thinking that way. But, um, yeah. And then, mind you, while they're doing all of these layoffs, guess who's getting cutbacks? Guess who's, guess who's getting profits? And the profit sharing is going up and up, and the, and the stock buybacks is going up and up. The rich and the wealthy are steady, becoming richer and more wealthier, even though you're broke and poor and suffering, and they just laid you off. But hey, at least the stock shareholders can go and buy another yacht. They can go buy another one of those Boeings that's probably gonna crash. Yeah, they can go get another jet. Meanwhile, you are at the plasma center trying to figure out if you're going to be able to get groceries for you and your family. Like a lot of us are literally living check to check. Um, there is no real way of saving money in, in when it's like this. Because like in order for you to save money, you have to have extra money. And a lot of us have bills that just constantly eat us up. Um, and, it's they, and, it, and it's bills for stuff that's considered a necessity. You know, because like, it's not like we have decent public transportation statewide or countrywide. So a lot of these places, you need a car. 
so it's crazy um and yet even if you have a used car my i got a used car because my car died out on me labor day 2022 and i basically spent six months not having a car um but then I was also recovering for surgery for like two and a half months of that six months. So I didn't have to work for two and a half months, technically. Technically. Um, but yeah. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Uh, you know, the car payments are literally what used to be considered rent back in the day. Even though... In comparison to a lot of the people that a lot of my clients and a lot of my friends and family, I have a very low car payment, even though I think it's astronomical. I also have a very low interest rate, even though I think it's astronomical. Because again, back in the day, you used to be able to get a fully loaded car, like fully loaded, right? Like everything's powered, everything's leather, whatever, for like two something a month. Now, your basic vehicle that's not fully loaded, but is decent, right? It's decent, but it's not fully loaded. And you're paying 400 or more dollars a month. And you're lucky to get an interest rate that's like four and a half percent. When I got mines, I got it at 4.49, and then it went down to 4.47%. I pay 441 a month. $441.29 a month is what I pay for my car payment. But then my car insurance keeps going up, so I'm definitely going to be switching to a different car insurance provider very soon. My car insurance started out at $137. Now it's at $173 a month. Mind you, same car, same location, no tickets, no car accidents, no claims. But yet it's steady going up. So yeah, I will definitely be planning my exit from it because if it's already gonna be, I can already see it's gonna be 200 pretty soon. So I gotta get out of here. Um, don't be afraid to shop around. I tell that to everybody. Do not be afraid to shop around. But yeah, so it's just, and mind you, all this is going on and we still have family children, loved ones, friends, relation, romantic relationships, partnerships, our own individual lives, our own, you know, wants and needs and what have you. And yet you got Hurricane Helen, you got constant, you know, depending on what political identity you fall under, what category you fall under, right? You losing rights left and right, you being threatened left and right. People are exhausted. People are permanently burnt out. I don't, you know, and again, I don't think jobs and corporations really understand that. Some of them, some of them do. Some of us have really amazing HR representatives and people that actually are people centered, but that's not the case across the board, obviously. Um, and like literally, we're, you know, we're we're literally people are tired that's the best way I can put it people are tired and for good reason it is exhausting having to live like this because like you're surviving you're not really living you're surviving day to day is about how you can get from point A to point B to get to the next day it's not really you're not in a stage of where you're comfortable and you're like secure and safe so when you're living like that, it forces a lot of us to forego things that we would normally be able to do had we been in a safe, secure environment. Anyways, I got to get in touch with somebody. That's been today's video. I'm out.